All right. I also wanted to show you a rising snap today. Now, a rising snap isn't as dramatic as some would make it sound. Some make it sound like it's this deep pump low, and then you come up and you snap. Truth be told, the rising snap is more of a mulliné, and that a lot of the action behind it is more subtle. So if I'm fighting my opponent here, and I'm in kind of a forward guard, the, I want them to bring their shield that I'm going to be trying. I want to hit them over the head. So I need this shield to pump down. So I need it. Uh, I need to make my opponent zig down. And that's the whole principle of the rising snap. More of it is in offsetting your opponent's defense than the shot itself. At the end of it, the shot's just going to be a flat snap or mullinet. I like to throw it with a little mullinet to get over the corner of defense, but it's up to you. Now, why it's a rising is because we're getting the shield to lower. So that's more important, remember, than going down and popping up. So there's a lot of ways you can get your, def your opponent's defense to drop. One way is just use those eyes. From right here, I'm just gonna look at that leg. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna pop out the inside of the shield and I'm gonna threaten leg. By threatening that leg, sometimes people naturally will start to gravitate or they'll adjust their footing to kind of protect it. So you can use your eyes. You can also begin to dip the shoulder, lower the shoulder and hand position, bringing the blade a little off side, bring it out to the side. This sells, this is a natural opener to a wrap shot so it sells the brain that a wrap shot might be coming so if i dip the shoulder and i throw out a lot of times their reaction is to cover that leg and then boom i'll finish off on the head so you can eye fake and then hit them in the head you can dip out a little shoulder dip and then finish with that flat snap as well so uh Another way that you can get him to zig down is with an actual leg shot. You can combo this. So now what I like to do is I don't unload the first shot. My first unloading means I'm pushing that energy forward. I'm unloading what I have loaded. So the first shot just pops forward, but my hip is still back and my shoulder's still back so that I can unload it on the second part of the combo. So the first part pops and it pops deliberately to get your opponent to jig that shield down and then your second one finishes that with that snap. So again, keep it unloaded or keep yourself loaded, pop, and then finish high. So that's really how I like to think of the rising snap. It's getting that opponent's shield position down, either with an actual shot, with a shoulder fake, or with an eye with a subtle eye movement. But once you get them to drop down, you just mullinay up over the top so that you're able to pop it in and, and get them in the head. Hope that helps.